This film shows sculpture I have made so far for his room as he left it, which is an installation work in progress. Some of these pieces are still unfinished. The drawing you see is a working sketch of how I imagine a corner of the completed room to look. Everything shown in this film is handmade. Paper mache, aluminum, and wood filler around a graphite core. Ink on paper. Ink on paper with sandpaper. Ash and pigment for match heads. Polymer clay with painted plastic. Wire and glue. Painted paper over wire with fabric. Later on in the film, I will read two excerpts from the diary, which is fiction that I've written to go along with this piece, and which the viewer can peruse in the finished installation. Ink on cut, folded, and glued paper. Ink on paper and cardboard. Colored pencil and holes on paper. Drilled and painted wood. Folded, glued, cut and painted cardboard with filed and bent wire. Later on, you'll also see a tufted titbouse of fabric and wire, a beer can of painted and glued aluminum, a sewn fabric hunting cap, a nail and a clothes hook made of clay over wire, and a paper mache wiffle ball. This toothbrush is painted polymer clay with my own hair. Painted polymer clay with wire and rubber. Cut painted aluminum with hot glue. My birthday is coming up and Henry thinks we should have a girl jump out of a cake. I always liked that idea until I grew up and realized how it must be for the girl. I mean, either she gets too hot or the cake is undercooked. And what's the point if you have to sacrifice one or the other? I just don't think it's fair for the girl, but to keep her okay, you'd have to have mushy cake. And who wants that? It's a birthday. So I said this to Henry and I think he's probably still laughing. I said, how do they survive the heat? And he said, how does who survive the heat? And I said, the girls in the cakes. And at first he said, they're insulated in this way that was totally serious and made me think maybe it was okay after all for a girl to be in a cake. But he kept staring at me and then I knew he was just being Henry at me. I had my base on and so I started back up with the baseline for mail order motor oil, which is not easy, and tried to concentrate on that. But right at the part where it goes bow, ba, bow, bow, Henry made a, an explosion of laughing and yelling and pushed me over on the bed. And the neck of my base hit my real neck and it hurt, which he was sorry for. But then he was going on and on about how I thought it was a real girl inside a real cake inside a real oven when really it was just one of those things, a real girl. And the cake is cardboard and you don't cook it, which then is like, why? And also, how could I know these things when I've never had a girl in a cake in the first place? Maybe I would know if it happened to me, but it's just something I've heard about. Why do trees have to smell so darn good? My walks keep getting longer and longer because I have to stop every few feet to sniff bark. 